Hello, this is Kim with Standing on Solid Ground. I am your host of this motivational and inspirational podcast. And today I want to talk about where is God? There are times when we find ourselves in dilemmas or crises where we don't really know which way to look, which way to turn, who to talk to, what the next move is going to be. We have no idea where to go. And many times we will sit on the side of the beds or in a chair or on the floor or even on our knees and praying, asking the Lord, where are you? Why haven't you heard my cry? Why haven't you come to my rescue? And there are those that feel like God may have betrayed them have walked away from them, is not listening to them, have no idea what is going on. And I know that in previous episodes, I explained that sometimes God gives us tests. He tests us to see what we are, we're going to do. If we're going to revert back to our old way of doing things because we're familiar with it, or we're going to walk through the path or the shadows of death where we we shouldn't fear no evil. We just have to keep walking. We have to keep walking forward towards that mark. And the many times that I have found myself in situations where I just didn't know which way to turn, I sat down, I sat quietly, and I just didn't say anything. I just meditated on the things that God had done for me prior to this event that I'm facing today or at that time. And when I do that, I remember all of what God had done. The situations that I found myself in, I didn't know how I was going to get out of. I didn't know how bills was going to get paid. I didn't know how my son's college was going to get paid for. I didn't know how I was going to make ends meet. But then I thought about all I needed to do was obey the voice of God. And in doing so, he brought me through some mighty, mighty hard times. And when I face and when I am faced with another challenge, What do I do? I sit back and remember all the things that God has done. And I thanked him. I thanked him. Now many will say that's crazy. Why would you thank God for what he already have done? And you hear you're in a crisis right now. Because if I remember the crisis is before and thank God for what he already has brought me through. This is no challenge for him. I just have to wait it out and see what happened next. Wait on God to make the next move. Sometimes it's not me who needs to make the next move. It's God. But me trusting him to make the next move is what's keeping me on that path, that righteousness, that straight gate that I've been walking on. See, God is not going to change. He know we change. We get older. We get, you know, uh, a little bit more testy. Sometimes we get more impatient. He knows that we change, but he doesn't change. And in order for us to follow the path that God has set for us, we have to learn to be like God. 
and less of our natural selves. That we need to be more spiritual and not more physical. Yes, it's easy for our feelings to get hurt. It's easy for us to be laughed at and poked fun of. So if I was you, I would have did something different by now. I don't know what you call yourself doing. You know, God is always, he, he's not going to always be there for you. This is Satan talking to you. This is the devil. He does not want us to follow the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He does not want us to follow that straight and narrow path. He wants us to detour to get off track. But God say, if you stay faithful, it's not always what we need to do, but it's what God had planned on doing in the first place. We just need to hold our peace. There are times when we can be standing out on them troubled waters and God will say, okay, I need for you to get back in the boat because the winds is going to get a little strong. And I don't need for you to be losing your faith. And the bow might be shaking back and forth. Rocking, tossing to the fro. But I have to go back and remember. When the boat was rocking once before, I never tumbled over. It never shipwrecked. And I never was tossed in the waters. I was always kept safe so the waters is troubled right now I just have to hold on to my faith we get through rough terrain we have to get through those troubled waters sometimes and in getting through those troubled waters it will cause us to dig in deep and strengthen our faith there are times when we get a little comfortable. We get too relaxed. You know, we thinking that, oh, now that God has made a way clear, I can relax a little bit. I don't have to worry about, you know, the waters being troubled again. But during the calm times, we need to prepare ourselves for the next storm. Not that we want to see that next storm to come, but it's just the right thing to do. It's like the ants, knowing that they got to prepare for the winter, even though it's summertime and winter might be a few months away, but they have to store up and be ready for the winter because they know that it's going to get cold and they need to eat. They need shelter. They need to be ready for the next summer to come. They don't prepare for the summer or prepare for the winter in September they prepare in June because they want to be ready and we have to be like those ants just because we made it through one storm don't mean another one is not lying ahead somewhere if that was the case we would never have hurricanes again tornadoes again typhoons a thunderstorm that Every time one storm clear, we're not going to worry about another one. No, we got to be prepared. We got to be ready. Because we don't know how detrimental that next storm is going to be. It depends on what we're asking for. If we're asking God for something that's way out of our league because of our faith, guess what? Satan is not going to make it easy for us to, get, to obtain that task. God never said it was impossible and he never told us no. But if we're believing in God for something, Satan is not going to make it easy for us. He's not going to make it that smooth sailing. He's going to trouble the waters. He's going to make it seem like it's impossible for impossible for us to reach whatever it is that we're asking God for and God allows it 
because we we kind of got a little bit too relaxed. So God has to kind of test our faith a little bit. And we're looking for God and we're waiting on God and we're like, God, where are you? Where did you go? Why aren't you hearing my prayer? I, he hears us. He hears our voice. But I noticed that every time I ask God for a blessing or every time I ask God for something, a challenge comes. And it's not because God don't want to give it to us. It's because Satan don't want us to have it. It's a difference. And we have to seek God's face. And we have to lean into God. And our faith have to increase. God is going to challenge our faith on every level. He's not going to let us get relaxed because when the bigger challenges come, those ones where we got to really labor in prayer, it won't be difficult to get an answer from God because he's already bumped up our measurement of faith. Don't be so quick to get mad at God because God is not answering us right away. Don't be mad at God. I remember my dad telling me a story. He was listening to one of his uh, radio channels of the Bible. And a man was telling a story about a flood that had came through a town. And the flood was terrible, terrible that it was reaching to the points of almost rooftops. It was so high. And a man was standing on the roof and he was praying out to God, God, please, please rescue me. And the first thing that came along was a man in a boat. He said, come on down from there. No, I'm waiting on the Lord to answer my prayer. So the man with the boat went on. A second time, someone else came along. And I believe he was telling me it was a helicopter. And he said, we come to help you. And he said, no, I'm waiting on the Lord to come. And then the man kept praying and praying. And something else came along. And there was a third time where something else came along. And he said, no, no, I'm waiting on the Lord. And the man drowned. And when he went to heaven and he asked God, I pray to you, Father, and I ask you to send me some help. And he said, I sent you three people to come and get you off that roof. And my dad just lifted up his hands and started praising God. In other words, God will send us help. We just have to know to recognize God when he does. He does answer us. But sometimes we miss our blessing because we're looking for God to come in this magical way. And he just come by using everyday people to come save our lives. We need to recognize the blessing when it comes. But we also need to increase our faith when God doesn't answer right away. The longer it takes, the longer we need to stay in prayer. The longer we need to praise God and edify his name and give him glory. But when he comes, let's recognize. Let's recognize him for who he is. God let us know that we can be entertaining angels right here on this earth and we don't even know. It. We got to recognize. So whenever we ask, where are you, God? Remember, 
Sometimes God come in mysterious ways. We need to recognize who he is. But don't forget to praise God and give him glory in our trying times. Because when we give him that glory, he'll get us through that turmoil a whole lot faster and with greater strength in him. It's not always God that is the delay. We delay when we don't recognize him. This is Kim with Standing on Solid Ground. You have yourself a wonderful and blessed day.